Let me go ahead and pee in my stew really quick. Um, he's not peeing. Why does he want to pee? Alright, I'll make him pee. I'll make you pee, you son of a bitch. What's up, my doomed friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Last Day on Earth Survival. Alright, last video, we opened our first weapons crate from the trader. Um, today, we have another weapons crate from the trader. I'm going to open it up later. It is back at base. You might be wondering why I'm in this, like, ridiculously, well, ridiculously good gear for me. This is, this is better gear than I'm used to wearing. And I'm also using a weapon that's better than what I'm used to using. And I also have some really interesting backup stuff. Plus, the Bravo key. I found two of these Bravo keys, um... While I was farming in between videos. So today we're going to do the Bravo Bunker. And we're going to open another weapons crate. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So let's check out this Alpha... This, um, sorry. Bravo Bunker. So from what I understand, Bravo Bunker is going to be somewhat challenging. But not quite as challenging as Alpha Bunker. Now, um, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. I do not... I did not bring a gun. Alright, so this should be pretty interesting. Now, why didn't I bring a gun? Well... I don't know. I didn't bring a gun because I didn't want to use it here. I want to save my guns for Alpha Bunker. So, let's break this door down. No, actually, just put it in here. And open. Access granted. Oh, look at all the zombies in there. Do you see this? Aggro me, bro. Yep, that's all of them. Alright, this is not going to end well for me. Shit, I'm going to wait longer. Oh, did you see all the damage the uh, floater bloater does to all the other guys? So that's how you beat that. That's how you beat the bunker. Okay, so are they gonna be there when I get back? I do not know. I used the. I panicked. I used the health kit way too early. That was stupid. Um, I basically wasted those health kits. So let's get in there. I don't know if we killed anybody. I don't know what's going on, but let's just uh, be ready for this. I'm gonna kind of run away as soon as I get in here. Oh, so do they go back to the beginning? Yeah, they do. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run to the outskirts, and that way I can get away easily if I need to. I did kill a couple. Okay. There we go. Cool. There we go. I'm gonna be a little bit quiet during this, guys. All right. So you see, fatter, fatter. I. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. So the toxic abomination. One of these guys killed all those little guys. Alright, so we're going to just be really careful. I'm overhealing, and I know I'm overhealing. I'm okay with that. Okay, we got it without the guns. Cool. Alright, that makes me really happy. I mean, all my stuff's almost broken, but I lived. I probably overhealed a little bit, but you know what? I'd rather overheal, I'd rather overheal than underheal. Because if you underheal, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, well that went pretty well. Cool, cool. Alright, so let's see. Uh, we got a couple drops over here. There we go. Good, good, good. And that is one more drop. One more drop. One more drop. Wow. Good amount of drops there. Okay, good. Now let's hope there's nothing too crazy in this bunker now because my gear is about to break and I'm low on healing items. So we're just going to have to come in here and see. Alright. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. It doesn't even look like we can go to the next part of the bunker, right? Yeah, there's doesn't even look like there's any... There's not even any machine over here. Alright, so there's just a bunch of... There's just a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of lockers here we can loot, so that's pretty cool. Um, we can come back. The bunkers actually, as far as I understand, do not reset. All right, and what I mean by that is if you go to one of the... If you go out to one of the, you know, farming zones, like the, you know, uh, the forests or the place with the rocks, I don't know what they're called, um, they reset. Like, if you, if you, like, leave that area, it will reset. I don't think the bunkers do, although don't take that as gospel. I'm just... I'm thinking that's not... I'm thinking bunkers don't reset. Like, I, they can't, right? Because if I, you could just go farm Alpha Bunker then. Because on the top the top part of Alpha Bunker, it, it just drops a bunch of... You know, it has a bunch of these... Um, these lockers. Un oh my god! Yes! Alright, we will definitely be using that in Alpha Bunker. Alright, so we're going to put some stuff back in here. Because we're going to be making some... We're going to be making multiple trips back and forth. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do we need to drink or eat? Uh, we do not need to do either. So we're just going to keep a bunch of a bunch of stuff in here, and we're going to loot the other the other things. We're going to try and keep, put these all in one or two lockers, and then I'll come back and grab them. Oh my god, that's that's a sweet locker right there. Now that M16 has very low durability, but what that M16 is going to do is it's with the M16 and a pistol. I'm getting to the point now where I can take alpha. Oh wow. Oh no. 
Okay. Okay. That's looking good. Oh, man. It sucks that the Bravo bunker is not going to reset. I think these bunkers should reset like every week or something. Okay, so that's another part for the motorcycle that I do not have. So um, let's grab what we can, and I'm going to head back. All right, you can see everything here. I'm going to make a trip back home, a trip back here, grab everything, bring everything back to base. Okay, I'll see you back at base. All right, guys, I was all ready to go back to Bravo Bunker, and look at this. We've got two things. We've got a dealer, and we've got an airdrop. Now, if I want to get back to Bravo Bunker, I should probably not do the dealer. This is way out of my way, and there's no guarantee I'm going to have what the dealer wants. Now, the dealer is probably the better choice as far as, like, what I'll get from him. But the thing is, you know, it'll just take me forever to get home if I go to the dealer and then come back here. I'll have to walk. I'll probably miss the airdrop, you know. Um, and I don't really want to do that. So we're going to go for the airdrop, and then we're going to hit the bunker. Stick with the plan. Hopefully, we'll be able to watch some ads. I don't know if you guys know this, but... Um, there was a update to Nox Player, and it allowed once the once Nox Player got updated, it actually allowed me to buy coins. Now, I don't want to go crazy with coins, right? <laughs> you know, I don't want to go crazy with coins because you know I'm, I don't want to spend a ton of money on the game. But I think this is a quality game. I got it for free, and I don't think ten, throwing ten dollars at the devs is too bad of an idea. Um, the thing is, I don't. I also don't want to get this like crazy zombie warfare pack because once I get the weapons then it kind of takes away the fun of finding them out in the world, you know? Like, if I bought the Zombie war Warfare Pack, $10, $10 is money well spent on this game. This game's phenomenal, okay? So I don't have any, like, qualms about buying this stuff. The qualms I do have, though, is once you, like, once you buy it, then finding it is not that exciting. Like, that M16, if I bought one, finding that M16 in Bravo Bunker would have been not nearly as exciting. So because of that, I don't think... I don't have any plans on buying any of these packs. I'm not saying I won't. Oh, electronic component, metal details, vehicle parts, 50 coins. Uh, what is it, random or... Well, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm probably not going to buy any of these packs. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, there are also uh, experience boosts. I probably won't get that either, honestly, because you kind of level up fine. Um, but way, ways I could spend the money is to get places faster. That's worth, that's worth a couple coins. And if I want to reset uh, my points for any reason. So um, I want... It, it's funny, like, I don't really want the packs, but I want to... I, I want to give the developers some cash, you know, because I think the game's uh, very worth it. So I'm a very big fan of uh, supporting developers. I think it's important. Um, and like I said, if this game was $10, like if this game was $10 and I bought it and I was playing it and someone asked me, hey, you know, um, is that game worth $10? Should I spend $10 on, you know, Last Day on Earth? I, I would say, it, it, not even thinking twice about it, yes, this game is definitely worth $10 in my personal opinion. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, so there you go. That's why we go there, because we get awesome weapons. Now, that weapon is just... This is almost top end of melee. 55.7. There's not too many melee weapons that are better than that, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see the ones we can make. I'm kind of curious. That might be... Honestly, I can't think of a melee weapon that's better, although I'm not super experienced with this game. Let's take a look at some of the melee weapons we can make later. Um, the machete might be better. I don't know the... No, I don't even think the machete's better because the saw blade is farther down on the on the, on the the list. Now, well, let's see what kind of melee weapons we got down here. Honestly, I don't even see any more melee weapons down here. So, yeah, that might be the best melee weapon in the game, possibly. So that is a great find. Um, okay, 15. We're going there. I'll probably have to walk home from Bravo Bunker. What I think I'll do is I will try and watch some ads to get home. Maybe I can even make the trader if I watch enough ads. I don't know. I don't know when they cut you off with the ads. You know, you could watch so many ads. Um, but I don't really know when that gets... Ooh, all those zombies, like, fell down when I logged in, I think. Um, kind of looked like it. They looked like they were moving and kind of scared me. Anyway... <laughs> Let's take all that. Okay, so we can't take everything. Um, I don't really care about paint. I do like the SWAT helmet. Um, I don't think I need any more of those. Um, we got a lot of phones. Let's take the gas. Strangely enough, I'm going to take the one bolt. I'm actually low on bolts, believe it or not. So I'm going to take that one bolt. So 
let's see if we can watch some ads. A lot of people have been wa asking me how to watch ads. Um, again, I know people don't watch every single video I make, so I will show you how to watch an ad, and I will, uh, of course, cut the ad out of the game. You know, I was actually showing the ads on my stream. I was streaming this the other day for the first time ever. I got raided by someone named um, PCATS, I think his name is. PCATS or... Ah, damn it. I don't remember. Phone cats or... I don't remember his, I don't remember the guy's name, but he's got like 200,000 followers or something. He rated me. It was pretty funny. But, um... Yeah, so... Uh, should I hit home first? Nah, let's just go to the trader. Here we go. Can't watch an ad. So we could spend 25 coins to get to that trader. You know what? I'm kind of a cheapskate. I don't think I'm going to do that. Ooh, 40 minutes to walk home now? Mm. Man, I'm really a cheapskate, aren't I? Alright, um... Screw it. Screw it. There we go. We're going to spend some coins. Why not? Like I said, I'm going to throw 10 bucks to the developer. I don't like the idea of buying weapons because it cheapens the thrill of getting them out in the, out in the game. So what else am I going to spend my money on? Experience boosts? I don't need experience boosts. I get crazy experience as it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the trader, see what he wants. We're going to make some decisions on if we want to actually uh, trade with him. And then uh, we'll get maybe, maybe we'll be opening two weapons crates today. Who knows? That would be pretty cool. Freaking take out Bravo Bunker and two weapons crates. I mean, I really wish these these bunkers should refresh every like week or something. Because like once you're in a game, once you've taken out a bunker, maybe they do and I don't know about it. Can anybody help me with that? But I don't think they do refresh. And if they don't, I think that's a mistake. Okay. What you got? What do you want, buddy? What do you want from me? Okay. He wants... Ah, oh, damn it. I can't make the alcohol. Uh, actually, I can make it, but I can't make it quick enough to get to him. Um, this would have been a really nice trade, actually, because alcohol is made out of blueberries, and these and these uh, first aid kits and, and things are just basically, I think, just alcohol. Like they're really easy to make. That would have been an easy weapon crate. Damn it. Well, you know what? You know what? That you know what that means today. I think we have to make. A, I think that's telling me we have to make a medical table today. And I do believe we have what we need for the medical table, so I will make one today. The only thing that sucks about that is I wasted 25 coins to get there, but that's okay. That's okay. This one I should be able to run to without any issues. There we go. So did that um, 25 coins give me 100 energy? I think it did, actually. It didn't give me enough energy to get here. I think it might have given me full energy, which is pretty nice. That's not bad. 50 coins? I mean, $10 for 1,000 coins. You use 25 at a time to get around. I could live with that. I can live with that. I'll probably buy them as soon as I'm done with this video. I think that's a good purchase, to be perfectly honest. Now, if you don't want to spend any money on this game, that's cool, too. Tell your friends, you know? Tell your friends at school or at college or... Well, college is a school, but I was thinking more younger kids. Or, you know, where at your work, tell people about the game. Get the get the word out there, even if you don't want to... Um, even if you don't want to spend any money on it. If you can't, you know? Pretty sure... People wouldn't have problems spending money on this game. They get to the point where they can't. All right. Um, I don't have a lot of room for this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this stuff just in these drop-off chests. And I'm going to have to do some organizing because I'm starting to get a lot of gear here. And um, that is a good thing. But it's making things a little bit more difficult on me. Okay. All right. So what do we need? Medical table? What we need to do first is eat. So let's take a look at that medical table. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we need? Uh, medical table. Uh, 2015, 7, 3, and 5. 2015, 7, 3, and 5. 2015, 7, 3, and 5. Should not be a problem. 20. No stone. 23. 17. Was that 15? Crap, I'm starting to get confused now. Alright, whatever. That's okay. I think I have just about everything. Uh, yeah, the bottles and the nails. Okay. Uh, nails are in here. Look at me getting all organized, right? And the bottles are up here. Alright, should we just make these... Should we just make two right off the bat? That's pretty expensive. I don't think I'm going to make two right off the bat. Nah, I'm not going to make two right off the bat. That's pretty expensive. There we go. And we will put those up here. Um, as a matter of fact, I think it'll go right... No, it'll go right here. Now, does that need to be on a on a upgraded floor? Yes, it does. Okay. All right, so it needs to be on an upgraded floor. Then we're going to go ahead and grab some planks. What is it, like five planks and like ten stone or something like that? Five planks, ten stone. We'll just take a bunch of stone just in case it's more. I've been doing some farming off camera, guys, so I have not been idle. I love farming in this game. It's actually really fun. 
Um, you like watch other people's streams. You like read a farm or something while you're farming. You know, so you, you got to kind of pay attention, but not uh, not all the way. Um, it's really nice. All right, so there we go. And let's go ahead and put this bad boy down. I think we need to make some some more. Uh, I think we need to make some more chests as well. All right, so let's see what this thing makes. There you go. Oh, 10 for two alcohol. Wow. Okay, we got to start farming up some more blueberries or some more berries, but I do have a lot of berries. How fast is it? Ooh, it's pretty slow too. Well, what are you going to do? All right, so we're going to need a chest for that. So I don't remember what I need for the chests. I think I need... Wait, let me see if I can guess. Um, planks and fiber... Oh, rope. That was the other thing I was going to say. It was either going to be fiber or rope. Okay. Well, fair enough. I got plenty of rope. Well, I don't know about plenty. I've got a lot of rope. Just enough rope to hang myself. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and put this down. Then we can move all the berries over here. So that'll free up more space in the food area. There we go. That's good. Uh, where else do we need a chest? So all of these have chests. That is fine. Uh, we could probably fit a chest up here and move that thing out of there. Actually... Why don't we do that right now? That's going right over here. Yeah, actually, we need a few more chests. All right, well, let's do some upgrading. Uh, we need more planks. I have been making a lot of planks. I thought I was making too many planks, but not so much. As a matter of fact, let's set up another two. So you can make two of every crafting table, guys. So I suggest you strive for two of every crafting table. Um... As a matter of fact, I might go out of my way to make some extra ones here. Alright, so you go like that. Nope, like that. And... What was I putting over here? Oh, yeah. The, uh... Was it the sewing table? Yeah, sewing table. Oh, by the way, I did this off camera. I kind of reworked out here a little bit. So I think this looks a lot better. Right? Got the shower over here. I took the door out. Got the shower over here. Rain catch. I mean, I really like the way this base is coming out. Like I said, that one guy raided me, or... Another guy raided me, I because I've been visiting other streamers of this game, because, I mean, this game's just really fun to watch. So, I've been visiting other streamers of the game, so I got raided by somebody else, too. And when he, they saw my base, they were, like, really shocked, and these are people who are, like, have been playing the game for a while, and they were really impressed with my base, so that made me, that made me quite happy. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and place this down. Nope, wait, what? What do I need to put? Oh, yeah, I got to move the sewing table, not craft it. <laughs> okay, so sewing table. You can move these. It doesn't matter what's going on if you're using them. It's irrelevant. You can go ahead and move it anytime you want. Is that the right way? Yeah, it is. There we go. And now we can put down our other chest. We don't have another chest. Well, let's go ahead and make another chest because we could definitely use another chest out here. Okay, other chest. All right. All right, this would be a good time to open our weapons crate as well. So let's see. Come on, give me a gun. Give me a gun. Okay. Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. That's pretty much the gun I would have chosen. Maybe the sniper rifle over that. I'm not really sure. Because I know for a fact the sniper rifle can out um, distance the turrets. I don't know about the M16. But that's pretty much the second best one I could have gotten. Um, what other ones can you get? Let me see. Yeah, I probably would have wanted the sniper rifle over it. But other than that... <laughs> oh, damn. 70.9. 8.3. Okay, you know what? The shotgun is probably better. Than the M16 because the M16's durability is going to go down a lot quicker because you shoot a lot faster. Um, so the shotgun's probably better from a durability standpoint. Now I don't know if the game like adjusts for that and gives the M16 more overall dur durability. We have no way of telling that, but the shotgun probably would have been better. But honestly, these two are you know whatever. I don't. I've never used either of them, so I'm not sure. But it's either the second or third best weapon in the game for me. Um, the sniper rifle would have been better because it would have been better to take out the turret with. But I'm still really happy with that. That is a great, great thing. All right, we don't want the dog in here, so let's get him out. I will trap one more one more um, attacker. Um, someone said if you trap three of the attackers at your base, then you don't get any more, but you have to trap three. So I will trap another one at some point. 
I just have to, you know, get around to it. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to grab all of this stuff. All of it? No, not all of it. We're going to leave the healing items here. We're going to leave the healing items there. And we're going to bring this stuff up here for the sewing table area. Okay. Just like that. All right, we also got to drop off some stuff. Our inventory is getting full of garbage. Uh, we got that. We do we have any... Yeah, we had some stone on us, right? No, we didn't. We must have used all that stone, huh? Maybe. Or maybe I put it somewhere and I didn't notice. Sounds like something I would do. All right. Go ahead and dump... Oh, we we're supposed to put down the... chop. All right. We're going to have to... S oh, by the way, I made the uh, ATV. <laughs> we're we're going to have to put... By I, I made the ATV because I wanted to see how big of an area I needed. And you need a 3x3 three three area for the ATV. Um, but I think we're going to have to wait for another video for that, guys, because we're getting long on this video. All right, so let's grab all of these out of here. Put that up there. You go right there. You're good there. Bada bing, bada boom. You're good to go. We still have a good amount of iron. Um, we still have a good amount of nails. We're doing well. Um, I think I might want to make another uh, table. I think I might. Maybe another medical table. This is going to take a while. What do I need that What do I need that stuff for? That's what I, that's what I need to know. What do I need that stuff for i know i need it for, for the first aid kit okay fair enough what else would i need it for um can't make the home brewing station can't make the pipes can't make the fishing rod you wouldn't need it for a couch you don't need it for the machete you don't need it for any of this stuff wow okay so i don't think we need what is it alcohol it's alcohol right i think it's alcohol yeah alcohol i don't think am i missing something guys am i because i'm kind of glossing over this stuff I don't think we need the alcohol for anything but the first aid kits. And in that case, I don't think we really need that much of it. Although it, it is really slow. Yeah, I don't think we need it for any of this stuff. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm, I, you know what? I'm not going to make the second one. I think I want to make another... What is the workbench making again? What is the workbench making? I don't remember. I'm starting to get confused on which which uh, table's making what. Workbench, workbench. Really? How could I forget? Workbench? Oh, that's right. Just the nails? That's it? Okay. We don't need another workbench that much either, to be honest. So I think what we're going to do with our remaining time and resources is we're going to go ahead and make another sewing table. 2015 and 5. 2015 and 5. 2015 and 5. We're a little bit low on these... Uh, rubber parts <laughs> really low on the rubber parts i think we're gonna have to stop farming materials and start farming parts you know because i've been farming materials for so long and um i think we're gonna have to kind of switch that up a little bit um which is fine no big deal no big deal all right so let's put this stuff away and let's put down our second sewing table and the second sewing table is going to allow me to turn the the plants into cloth cloth into thick fabric it's gonna move it along a lot quicker we got another zombie over here i do not want him dying inside my base so we will come out here and club him in the head with a bat no fuss no muss we're gonna go ahead and eat and let's look around over here okay so now we're gonna put down our second sewing table yeah two sewing tables is really good i think that's a really important thing <clears throat> And then we're going to take uh, some of these out and put it over here. Yeah, yeah. This is important. Yes. Because that cloth and the thick the thick, uh, thick fabric is really important. Like, really important. So we need some more over here. So let's go ahead and use these. You know what? Keeping, keeping the hide and leather in here is probably not the most useful idea. I'm thinking maybe I want another chest out here for carrots water i don't know what do you th I, okay so if i put a chest out here it would be for hide water carrots but then what do i need like the chest in here for for the food i guess when the food's done yeah maybe maybe it would <clears throat> i don't know i'll think about that in between videos you guys let me know do you like the setup i have right now where I have all the food and stuff over here and the hide over here? Or do you think I should put a chest out here and move the carrots, carrot seeds, and leather up, um, hide up here? Once it's refined, then I can put it in its proper chest. 
I think I might actually do that. I think I might actually do that. Well, guys, this has been an action-packed, uh, crazy video. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Let me go ahead and pee in my stew really quick. Um, he's not peeing. Why does he want to pee? All right, I'll make him pee. I'll make you pee, you son of a bitch. There you go. Why don't you go ahead and pee in the stew, and we'll call it a video. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm choked up at the peeing in the stew. The worst part about it is it's my stew and I'm watching him do it. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.